this is Karen from Cottonwood Studios. Um, back doing my reborn. Uh, this one that I baked. Uh, let's see. I baked this one last night. Um, and I added some, uh, like the whitewash on. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting on this stuff called Moist Baby Skin Glow. It's kind of like what everybody, you know, there's a lot of websites that mix up their own type of, like, um, Dewey, there's one called Dewey Skin, and I forget who makes it, but anyway, that, um, that stuff is kind of like what this stuff is. Now, I get mine from, uh, let's see, well, this says the art and magic of reborning, or reborn's color system. But I get it off of, um, what's her name? Uh, Honey Buns website. Oh, this hair. Um, yeah, so I got it off of her website, and I like it. It's like a dewy skin color. And uh, I really like it a lot, so... I'm just kind of, I'm painting it on the hand because I really want to get it into all the creases and stuff because if I don't do it that way, then what happens is um, it comes out very uneven and then sometimes there are big chunks of the stuff stuck in the, in between the fingers and all that other good stuff and so I want to um, make sure that I, when I put it on, I'm not, you know, if you try to do it with the sponge, it just clump, it clumps up. And it looks terrible. And then if you don't catch it and you bake it like that, you got a big clump. I may, you know what, I'm doing this this layer because I'm either going to do another whitewash over this or I'm going to do, um, what was I thinking, oh, blush. But it kind of looks like I may have to put, um, another layer of like the white. Uh, well, it's not white. I don't know why I keep calling it white. It's just lighter. The Flesh Tone 8, which is the lightest skin color. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to do that, I think, again. Because I baked this on, but it looks like there were, I don't know, it just looks weird, like the paint is... Maybe it's just that the paint is too shiny. I don't know. But this should dull out some of that. Um, oh, let me put it on. Um, this should dull out that shine that's on the doll. Um, yeah, but I think I'm going to put another layer of the, the flesh tone on here. I actually almost wanted to make this a very dark skin, but when I did the Flesh Tone 7, it came out very ashy, like gray ashy. I didn't like it. And then I was thinking, oh, maybe I should go to 6. And I do have Flesh Tone 6. But then I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was just the way that the person mixed up these uh, paints, I don't know, that made it look very ashy. I'm not 100% sure. And now that I put this 
baby glow stuff on. It's making the skin look super natural. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I still have to get in between a lot of places, so. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll, uh, and I'm using the brush to go between the, the creases, like I said, with the baby glow stuff, because, and it's, there's not much on the um, paintbrush, so it's not like globbing, I'm not globbing it on or anything like that, it's just the residue from uh, wiping it on to the Wiping it from the brush to the sponge to load up my sponge. So, I don't know, we'll see. And I, you know, I like doing this. This makes me happy. I, I really enjoy rebonding. I actually like to do a lot of different types of things. I like to make doll clothes and um, all kinds of things. You know, I like to do sculpturing. I like to paint. I like to draw. Right now, this is keeping my attention, doing the rebonding. And like I said, I really love fantasy, and I, I feel like, you know, that's where I'm going with a lot of this, you know. It's going to be, a lot of these babies I'm hoping in the future are going to be out of the box type deal. It's not going to be ordinary stuff you know it's not going to be I know a lot of people like really into the new bonds and you know that's what they want and that's what they want to make you know they want to find it and there are people who that's all they want to make you know that's fine you know that's their prerogative you know but I mean with me I mean I've already envisioned a few dolls that I really want to do and and thinking about what they would look like you know so not my uh, phone shut off but I'll continue from where I left off um, I was talking about um, doing different rebonds and and how you know I want to do fantasy stuff and uh, like I said I have some ideas about what I want to do But, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably where I'm going with this, you know. I also, um, was even thinking of, because I like to sculpture, and I wanted to actually sculpture some dolls, and, um, and work in, um, silicone. You know, see if I could do some silicone babies. I, I don't know. I don't know how far I get with that. But anyway, that's another idea that I had. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. You know, that's it takes a lot of chemicals and... I'm not really sure if uh, if I want to go that route or not. I might just stick with painting uh, the kits. Because I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. We, we're hoping to be, um, by the end of the year, we're hoping to be traveling. So... Uh, I don't know if um, if I'll be able to do the silicone. I'll still be able to paint dolls while I'm traveling, but the uh, the silicone is you know a whole different story. So I don't know. You know, I really don't want to carry those chemicals around with me. So I'm not sure. I don't mind bringing the the heat set paints and and doing um, painting on the road. 
and I want to get myself a, a new wave oven so I can, uh, wherever I'm at, and I have electricity, I could just plug in the oven and uh, I could do the, um, I could cook the, the vinyls, you know. So we'll see. I don't know yet. I deleted some film or video, whatever you want to call it, off of my phone so I would have room to put this video and I'm going to link this video with the other video that I did just before we got shut off because I'm continuing on to um, to do this. And I gotta check this head before I bake it and let it dry. It's looking really, really good. I like the skin color. The face is looking pretty good. I like it. I have to get in here on the eyes and stuff because, uh, yeah, there's a little bit on here. I want to be able to get in here and and do the eyes and and do around the nose. I think it's easier to use a brush, you know. Then you can just pounce it with the um, with the sponge as you're going. I put too much. I'm gonna pounce this anyway, but. this in here where the lips are. This kind of dries pretty quick. I gotta make sure that I... I think they probably take some thinning medium and some other types of mediums and they mix them together to make this moist baby skin type look, you know. I think that's what they do. Makes it look dewy. I wanted to make sure that I got in there and covered all that. It, it looks bad if you don't get every little area. Okay, let's see. This, this is textured too. I wonder if they put that extended medium into this. Because I can get some really good texture out of this. But it's hit or miss too because if you put too much it looks like the skin's falling off and then if you put too little it doesn't give you any effect at all. So. Yeah, I have to get up the nose too. Yeah, 
that looks better. That looks more natural. I'm going to bake this and I'm going to see what it looks like from there. If it looks good and I, I'm happy with it, maybe I may not add another flesh tone to it. I'll have to see. I got my AC on here. It's a it's a hundred degrees here in the desert. But it's funny, people think that the desert's hot like 24-7 and it's not. It um at night the temperatures plummet. I mean sometimes so bad it goes down in the fifties, you know. Or in the forties, you know, it depends on what part of the desert you're in. Here it doesn't, it depends, sometimes it's plummeted like that, you know, like really low and, but it's been staying pretty um, decent here at night. It does cool off somewhat. Oh, that looks good. I like that. I like the way that looks. This looks pretty natural, so. That looks so good now. chunky. That looks good. I've already done the arms and the legs, so I don't really need to uh, to go through with that. I've already done that, so this was, I was waiting for the head to do the head at the, as the last part, so yeah, that's that's the head. It looks pretty good. I like the way it looks. I'm going to outline the lips and I'm going to probably run over the lips again another